Hi, this is Greg. Unfortunately, I, I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Hi, Greg. This is Jennifer from the office. I'm sorry for calling you at home today. I know it's your day off, but we've just had a major order from our biggest customer. Very important that you come in or call us immediately when you hear this message. Thank you. Hi, this is Greg. Unfortunately, I, I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Greg, this is Mr. Emirate speaking. I'm quite indignant, and I can't believe you haven't shown up in the office yet. We all have to be very responsible. This is a very important order for an extraordinary important customer. I'm astonished, quite astonished. I'm very disappointed, and I think your father will be too. Even if you are ill, that's too bad. I must say that even if we people in commerce ever become slightly unwell, then fortunately or unfortunately, we simply have to overcome it because of the business considerations. I thought I knew you as a calm and sensible person, and now you suddenly seem to be showing a patent disregard of your responsibilities. You are the last employee whom I expected this kind of scandalous behavior from. You will certainly have to face the consequences. But I am prepared to be patient due to the fact that you've been working for our company for the last three years and you've never been ill. We could always count on you, even on holidays and weekends, so I'm going to give you a chance to make things right. Pick up the phone. I really hope you will appreciate my generosity. I will count to three. One, two, three. Okay, Greg, you've officially messed up. Goodbye. Darling, this is your mother. Are you all right, dear? Mr. Emmerite called me. He was looking for you, but I said you were supposed to be at your apartment. I told him, my boy only ever thinks about the business, and I get worried about you because you never go out in the evening. I said his idea of relaxation is working with a fret saw. He's made a nice little frame, for instance, and it only took him two or three evenings. You'll be amazed how nice it is, I said. You're not ill, my darling, are you? Greg, this is your father speaking. How could you do this to us? Move your ass out of the bed and go to work. You should be grateful every day that you have such a nice boss like Mr. Immerite. How dare you disappoint him? I can't believe you don't appreciate this wonderful job that I was able to get for you. Is this how you show your gratitude for everything we, me and your mother have done for you? What a life. This is what peace I get in my old age. Hi, Greg. How are you? It's me, Greta, your sis. I really hope that everything's okay, right? It's just a tip, right? Anyway, my music teacher says to me that I'm very talented and I should keep rehearsing. I already know which violin we're going to buy next week. Remember you promised me, my dear Greg. Take care. Love you.
Oh, Jonathan.